Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrapcraft Tastic, and I'm back to share a few more items that I was able to find in Walmart from the Pen and Gear Stationery Collection. I shared in a previous video some traveler's notebooks that I was able to find, and I gave all the measurements and showed you what other uh, accessories or planner related items would work in those notebooks so you can go check that video out for all of those details and it also included a flip through of the inserts that came with those notebooks so I was able to find the blue personal size I'm saying personal size um, because that's what it's close to and I was this is like a it's a greenish blue, so it has like a green undertone to it. It's not a navy blue. Even the inserts are more of a royal blue color. And it still it has the same features as the other notebooks. It has a reinforced cover, so it's not a floppy cover. It's reinforced on the inside, and it also has some padding in there. This one comes with the three slots for business cards, and the business card slots accommodate a vertical business card so let's see if I can show you real quick so this would go in like this okay and this is what the notebooks look like they're gold foil in that royal blue color the actually the color of the notebooks is much nicer than the actual Traveler's Notebook cover. So these come with weekly inserts. So you have a week on two pages and it is in the horizontal orientation. So instead of the days of the week going up and down, so normally, well, on most inserts it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. This is different in that the days of the week go across. So you got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday across the top, then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday across the bottom. And this is a really thick book, so I'm pretty sure it has more than 52 pages. So what, 120 weekly pages? So this would take you to two years if you use it every week. Um, and then this one is a dot grid notebook. So I really like the covers on these books. So that is it for this one. And this is the one that the Hobonichi Weeks will fit into this back pocket. And for those of you who did not see the other video, this does include a pen loop and it has a secretarial pocket on the front here as well. You have four strings um, on these smaller versions. The strings or elastics are gold. You could easily change out the elastics if you choose to. So that is that one. I also found this lavenderish one and I got these sticky notes to kind of go with it. I mean, it's not an exact color because the sticky notes are pink and the cover is lavender, but this is what it looks like. Again, it has four strings. It has the same pockets on the inside, same reinforced covers. Um, this is what the notebooks look like very pretty we have reinforced strings on the inside I'm not sure if this metal on the uh, I keep saying strings because I'm used to rings and strings as far as planners and travelers notebooks the elastics have these metal uh, caps on them to reinforce the elastic I'm, I'm guessing that's what that's for and then it has the stoppers the metal stoppers on the outside elastic this one is a tracker and it's 120 pages of trackers it has weekly to do and notes as well so and then this other notebook is dot grid that's what that looks like I'll keep these together then this one i got the little blue sticky notes to go with this one i thought they looked good together um, this is more of a B6-ish size. I would say it's a B6 wide if there is such a thing. If you want the measurements of the covers, the inserts, and all of that, you can check out that video. Um, and I, like I said, I will link it up above and in the description box below. 
This one has the card slots that accommodate a horizontal uh, business card. So the cards go in the slots like this. And they sit down pretty low into the pockets. You have a secretarial pocket on the front. Still has four strings. This one happens to have gold elastics. It's a different type of gold elastic from these. This is more like a glitter and this is more of a slick shiny elastic. The other larger notebooks do not have gold uh, elastics. They have matching elastics. So the same color as the notebook. Um, this is what the insert covers look like. I think this one is more most random of them all. <laughs> has the these polka dots and then the gold polka dots and this one the inserts are exercise and diet related meaning meal related so it has a week on one page and each day has BLDS breakfast lunch dinner snack and it gives you I guess you're supposed to track your calories here so say what you had and then put the calories and then it has a grid page for exercise information and that repeats throughout the entire notebook. Yes. And then the front and back pages are grid. That seems to be standard across the board with these um, traveler's notebooks. Then this last notebook, I don't, this one is more of a self-care type thing, which is different. This one says, today I feel, today I'm grateful for going forward goals. And then that repeats. So you can choose what day you're tracking or adding information for. And then add the date. And so you get four across two pages. That's interesting. So, and then that notebook is full of those. So this one would be, I guess, a self-care, health and self-care notebook and this one actually has the word notes on the front let's see none of the others do well no this one is what this is what's supposed to be in here because this is the notebooks that are pictured on the front but it does say notes on the front here i have the blue one or the peri is this periwinkle i think it's like a periwinkle blue and then these two smaller ones. Oh, and one other thing about this one, the mini happy planner does fit in the pocket in the back. So you won't be able to get much else in there, but the mini happy planner does fit. If you want to see how it fits, check out that other video. Um, and that's it for the pen and gear Walmart traveler's notebooks. So let's move on to what else I have. So I'd seen on Instagram, a while ago that Staples had a very budget-friendly traveler's notebook system available but I was gonna stay away from it but since I was on this kick with finding affordable solutions for planning and showing that you can have a very nice planning system a functional planning system have all the cute things um, to go with it even if you're on a budget I decided to go and check out what Staples had to offer. So I went in the store and I'll put in some footage that I took while I was in the store that I posted. So I posted some of it here in my stories on YouTube and I posted um, in my Instagram story. So I did pick up that black pen case. Um, most of my planners are black. So I thought it only fitting that I have a black one. This is what it looks like. Let's take all the packaging off. And here's the information in case you're looking for it in Staples or on their website. So it feels very cheap if you <laughs> ask me. Um, it's very tight. I don't think you can get more than one pen in there. In all honesty, I think the pen case from Walmart is much nicer. It's more pliable. So this is the one from Walmart. This is the one from Staples. This is very, very stiff. This one is very pliable. 
as you can see. Um, so it allows for some room in there. I mean, I have two pens in here or a pen and a mechanical pencil. I could fit more in there if I wanted. This one ugh, is so stiff. You can barely get one pen in there and close it. I guess maybe using it would loosen it up. Is this real leather? Because it really smells like it. It doesn't say. I seriously doubt it at the price that it was. And I think I, I think the price of this one was $3.99. Where this came in a pack with some other things for $4.88. So I think this was a better a better purchase. Um, we'll see how it works though. So let me take my pen back out of here. <laughs> Okay, so I got that. Oh, I think this one was, I think I think I was overcharged for this. It says $5.99, but I'm pretty sure, my receipt says $5.99. I wouldn't have purchased this for that price. <laughs> Not at all. The clerk at the store was very distracting. He was really weird. First, he tried to sell me some kind of spray-on screen protector which I don't understand why it had nothing to do with anything that I purchased and then he asked me did I watch movies did I like movies and then he went into what was the last movie that you saw I probably shouldn't even answered his questions but then he went into explaining the last movie that I could that I think I saw I might have seen something but that was the, the most the one that stood out in my mind was John Wick 3 so then he goes into telling me all about Keanu Reeves and blah, 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 blah. And I'm standing there. Can you just check me out so I can leave, please? Finally, he zipped it and I was able to escape the store. But I was like, oh, my goodness. Anyway, so he distracted me. I didn't even pay attention to my receipt like I normally do, which is my fault. So I guess I'll eat the two dollars. But. So anyway, I picked up the gray one because I don't have, I have one other gray planner and it's an A5 uh, six ring binder. So I figured I could have a gray traveler's notebook because I didn't want any of the other colors that they had. So I really like it. It seems very similar. I wouldn't be surprised if the same people made these that make the ones from Walmart. The only noticeable difference that I see is this is like a uh, textured faux leather. So it has this grain, it has a texture to it. And it's more of a matte finish. The Pen and Gear Traveler's notebooks have a slicker uh, finish to them. They are matte, but they feel slick. This does not feel slick. So this is a two piece set with a cover and one insert so these only come with one insert and they do have the four strings they have the reinforced metal pieces on the strings or elastics they have the metal stoppers on the outside elastic I didn't point this out with earlier but this notebook has the vertical holes for the strings the smaller notebooks have the horizontal holes for the strings so the larger ones go vertical, the smaller ones go horizontal. This one follows suit with that. It has horizontal, which is, the, to me, that's the way I prefer it because when they go up and down, you have different length of string on the inside. It doesn't seem like it would matter, but it does make a bit of a difference. Anyway, this notebook is simple, a simple lined notebook with a black matte finish, gold foil lettering, very sophisticated and business-like corporate so very nice manly this would be a nice notebook for a man they did have a few feminine designs but for the most part they were pretty conservative and I kind of like conservative too I mean I like my pink but I like conservative as well let's do some measuring I think these are pretty comparable um, might be a little bit bigger it looks like the staples is a little bit wider than the pen and gear but other than that they are the same as far as that goes this the cover measures about four and five eighths 
four and five eighths by seven and three quarters. So that's the cover size. The insert measures four by seven and a quarter. So again, not really personal size because personal size is three and three quarters by six and three quarters. So it's about an inch longer and a quarter of an inch wider, but I'm pretty sure you could put some personal size inserts in here. So this is a personal size insert uh, from Prima Marketing. And I'm gonna put that one in here to show you what a true personal size looks like in here. So there we go. That's what it will look like. It's a little shorter, like I said, and a little more narrow. But that does give you room for accessories at the top and on the side if you so choose. Or you could just cut your notebooks a little bigger or buy your notebooks from Staples. They had a plethora of styles and types of notebooks as you saw in the clip. So now let's see if the Hobonichi Weeks will fit in the Staples cover. I'm pretty sure it will. They're about the same size as the pen and gears. So let's see if it slides into this back pocket. Yes, it does. It's a nice tight fit, just like the pen and gear. And with this one, you can leave the extra notebook in and it still fits nicely. So that's how it looks with the Hobonichi Weeks. This is the regular Weeks. It's not a Mega Weeks, but I'm sure the Mega would fit as well. So that's what that looks like. Because I love a black planner and traveler's notebook, I went ahead and picked up the black version of the large one. Oh, it actually does have the measurements and I forgot about that. I showed them in the store as well. So it tells you the size of the notebook and the um, size of the insert. So the notebook is actually, this one is six by eight. The notebook insert is five and a half by seven and a half. So it's just short of being a half letter size and just a little, a half an inch on each side from being a true B6. So this is what it looks like on the inside. It has the card slots just like the pen and gear that are horizontal. There we go. I'm saying I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm willing to bet that these are made by the same company because they are so much alike. Then it has the matte black notes notebook with just lined note paper very slick very clean it has the four strings with the reinforcements and it has this back pocket let's see if you know that the mini happy planner works with the pen and gear let's see if it works with the staples and yes it slides right in nicely however you can't leave the notebook in which was the same issue that arose with the pen and gear so let's take the notebook out and see if we can close. No, it doesn't work. It slides in nicely, but it does not close. So if you wanna use your Happy Planner with it, uh, this is not the one. Now you could probably force it. I mean, I'm gonna force it a little bit, but I do have to force it. So that does not work. I mean, you could make it work. You can make, let's say it like this. It doesn't work easily. It's not gonna just close on its own. You're gonna have to press it down and put the elastic. And as you can see, even with the elastic, it still wants to pop open. So that won't work for that, not for me. So this is just a black reinforced cover traveler's notebook. And that's different from the leather notebooks that we buy from the popular places they are not reinforced so this is kind of like a cross between a ring bound planner because ring bound planners have covers like this with the padding and the reinforcement to keep them stiff where the traveler's notebooks that we use have floppy covers more pliable covers with no reinforcement so anywho 
that is my traveler's notebook haul and here is the information for these two notebooks if you like the video please give it a thumbs up if you like videos like this please hit that subscribe button and the little gray bell so that you'll receive notification each time I upload a new video if you have any comments or questions please leave them below don't forget to check the community tab for updates and posts I make throughout the week and also check the stories for additional content that does not make it onto the channel thanks for watching I'll talk to you later bye